So without any further ado, I'd like to introduce Dr. Han from uh, Seoul, Korea, and he's going to talk about his experience with laparoscopic liver resection for hepatocellular carcinoma in cirrhotic patients, 10-year single center experience. Dr. Han, thank yeah. you very much. Thank you for coming. Uh, uh, thank you, Dr. David Yannity and the Pubi uh, Parik. Uh, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, it is a great honor for me to speak for this scientific session of HPV, uh, HPV surgery. Uh, first of all, Dr. Devi Yanidi and I have been uh, attending the first uh, laparoscopic liver resection consensus meeting in Kentucky Louisville about five years ago, five or six, seven years ago. But I think uh, after seven years, uh, this surgery has very much developed. Uh, so uh, I'd like to talk about our uh, experience of this surgery for HCC and she erotic patient. Uh, I have nothing to disclose. Uh, liver resection in she erotic patient uh, report to have a higher morbidity and mortality rate compared to non she erotic patient. Uh, there is a recent acceptance of laparoscopic approach in liver surgery. However, there are few reports uh, uh, evaluating lap liver resection for HCC and shield patient. Uh, our objective is to evaluate 10 years single center experience of lap liver resection for HCC and compare perioperative and long term outcomes between patients with or without liver cirrhosis. Uh, 232 patients were retrospectively reviewed uh, for HCC uh, for our hospital. Uh, between January 2004 and until December 2013, all the patients underwent lap liver resection. Patients to divide into two groups uh, according to their status of liver parenchyme with or without liver cirrhosis. Liver cirrhosis group uh, had 141 patients, and also non liver cirrhotic group had 91 patients. Uh, this is the baseline characteristic. Uh, Age is similar, and sex uh, gender is similar between the two groups. And uh, in a virology, HBV and HCV is higher than uh, liver cirrhotic group compared to non liver cirrhotic group. Uh, about the child class, uh, this is shows child class and albumin, uh, bilirubin, INR, and the liver function test. Uh, as expected, there are differences between the two groups. And about the platelet, uh, there are <coughs> liver cirrhotic group is lower platelet level, and also the ICG level, ICG 15 is also higher in liver cirrhotic group, and AFP level is higher in liver cirrhotic group. About the operative data uh, of a single or multiple region, uh, the liver cirrhotic group has more multiple lesion, but there is no statistical significance. And the site is similar between the two groups. Now about the, the site, site is similar between two groups, and about the size, liver cirrhotic group has a little uh, lesser size compared to non cirrhotic group, and site is lymph node. Uh, there are some difference without any sign uh, statistical significance. Extent of resection, is uh, uh, naturally minor in liver cirrhotic group because you have to preserve the liver function and the operation time is similar between the two groups and blood loss and transfusion and mortality is similar between the two groups. Intraoperatory is similar in between two groups. About the section margin, uh, cirrhotic group has narrow resection margin because we try to preserve liver volume as much as possible, but there is no uh, difference between the uh, R0 uh, versus R1 resection rate. About the satellite, vascular vascular invasion, capsular invasion, there is no difference between the two groups. About the hospital stay, there is no difference between two groups in statistically, and the complication, uh, there is no difference in, uh, in statistical, although there are some difference in the uh, num uh, number. About the Clavian dindo grade question, very similar, but only mortality. Uh, during hospital stay occur in uh, two patients, in zero to patient, uh, it is 1.4 percent mortality rate, and the, uh, the cause of the cause of the mortality is ALDS 
and multiple organ failure. Uh, this is a long-term outcome. We have followed the patient for 42.3 months in liver cirrhotic group and 44 months in non cirrhotic group. Recurrence occurred 70 patients in cirrhotic group and 34 patients in non cirrhotic group. Uh, but uh, uh, this is the no difference. I will show the figure uh, at the late next slides. About the mortality of 27 patients in cirrhotic group and 13 patients in 14 group, and I also show this data in figure. Uh, this is a disease-free survival rate. Uh, you can see uh, in the table, uh, one year, three year, five year, seven year survival rate. Uh, there are <coughs> seven year survival rate is 32 percent in cirrhotic group and 50 50 percent uh, in non cirrhotic group. Uh, the as you see, in the right side, uh, there are figure is separating, but still there is no uh, statistical significance because of the small number of the patients. About the overall, over, I'm sorry, this is, uh, uh, this is, um, this is uh, a typographic error. Uh, this overall survival, overall survival, uh, the one year, three or five years, uh, seven year survival rate is shown in uh, left table. Uh, seven year survival is 70 percent and cirrhotic group and the non cirrhotic group 72 percent. If you look at uh, the right graph of the right side, uh, there is no difference between the cirrhotic group and non cirrhotic group. As you can see, uh, liver cirrhotic patient has small uh, recurrence rate, but uh, because of uh, aggressive, uh, aggressive treatment after recurrence, Overall survival rate uh, is similar between the two groups. In conclusion, as I say, the, this uh, laparotomy resection for HCC is uh, feasible in the patient with liver cirrhosis. Liver resection in cirrhotic patient showed uh, comparable result to non-cirrhotic patient in terms of perioperative and long-term outcome. However, prospective comparable studies are still necessary to prove superiority of laparoscopic liver resection for HECC in Shiroti patient. Thank you very much for your kind attention. Thank you, Dr. Professor Han. Um, any questions from the uh, audience? While you guys are thinking about it, I uh, will just ask a, a couple of questions, which would be, first of all, a great experience, a wonderful experience, and thank you for sharing that with us. And it looks like that um, you stratified things by, you looked at uh, child score, uh, didn't really look at MELD score. Did you calculate this all out for MELD score? Actually, uh, we didn't calculate the MELD score, just a, just a child view score, yes. Right. And it looks like there was a bit of a difference between the cirrhotics and the non cirrhotics when it came to margin. There's about a five millimeter margin difference. Yes. Was, and so, but there wasn't any difference in uh, disease free survival based on that margin difference. So one could potentially argue that you could have even tighter margins on non cirrhotic patients. Yes, it's a very great question. So, as you can see, in our, uh, in our study, we see that the narrow margin. Uh, in cirrhotic group. I think, uh, uh, as David uh, pointed out, uh, because of narrow margin, recurrence uh, may be attributed to the narrow margin. Uh, we, I, I think uh, it is very difficult to know uh, why the, there is high recurrence rate in the cirrhotic patient. I think uh, there are many uh, multiple factors. Maybe, uh, as David pointed out, the narrow margin may be one of the contributing factors, although there are many uh, factors. Uh, as you, as, you, as you know, the patient with the cirrhotic patient has uh, limited liver function, so we try to dissect uh, as much as, uh, as less as possible. Uh, so we do limited dissection. Mm -hmm. uh, if it is large, we do anatomy dissection. So that's why the margin is very narrow. Mm -hmm. In the uh, non-cirrhotic patient, we do some major dissection like right hemipatomy. That's why there are difference between margins. So, as uh, David pointed out, we have to find out what uh, has contributed to uh, high recurrence rate in the cirrhotic group. I think it's a good question. And then finally, obviously, we're looking at the difference between complication rates and outcomes for uh, liver resections in cirrhotic and non cirrhotic patients. And these are well selected cirrhotic patients. Did you stratify complication rate based on child score? And I didn't do MELD score. So was there a higher complication rate in the child B or even child C's? 
Because uh, most of them were all child A. Yes, uh, it's, a, it's a, another good question. So I think, uh, as you expect, if the patient has poor liver function, uh, I think complication rate increase. So uh, because the, the, the number of COT patients is not large enough, so we, uh, maybe uh, we didn't stratify. But sure. if it has uh, enough uh, number of patients, I think it's a good idea. And you do such wonderful surgery. The complication <laughs> rate is low. Anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then finally, Thank it you. looked like your disease-free survival of five years was 79% of yes. both groups, but overall survival curves split. Yeah. And so were there more liver-related deaths or liver disease-related deaths for, that affected the overall survival since the disease-free survival was the same? Uh, overall, so, uh, yes, overall, so I was saying, and disease free so separate. I think it, it was, I think it showed the opposite. Yes, because, the, sorry for the error. But uh, uh, in our study, uh, uh, disease free so was separate, overall, so I was same, so 70%. Gotcha. So uh, I don't know why uh, the overall, so is similar, because the recurrence is higher in the group. group. Uh, but uh, if we uh, try to explain, I don't know, this is no uh, based on the ground, but uh, you can say that uh, we are doing uh, very much aggressive treatment at the recurrence, so that's why the, the survival rate between the serotic group and non-serotic group is similar between, yeah. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. I appreciate it.